Hi, my name is David Leftwich and I work in Maximo Level 2 Support. Today I'm going to show you some system properties that will allow you to log performance related information. The first thing we need to do is go to System Configuration Platform Configuration System Properties In the System Properties screen, if the filter does not show, click on Filter and then enter SQL Time, comma, space, MBO Count, comma, space, Fetch Result Log. and this will show you the three properties that we're going to change. So if we expand fetch result log limit, a good value to set this to would be 200. So you can change that in the global value field and then save the record. Next we'll expand log SQL time limit and a good value for this one would be 1000. And again, we're going to save. And in MBO count, if we expand that, this one is a switch, which we will set to one. And we'll save that record. The MBO count will show us the loading of memory, so it will show us how many MBOs and MBO sets are in memory once each minute, and it will show us the memory that we have in total and the memory that is still free. The log SQL time limit will print into the logs any SQL that takes more time than we've specified, so we specified 1000 for that, so that's um, 1000 milliseconds, so anything that runs for over a second. And fetch result log limit will produce a small stack trace each time anything loads more than a certain number of the same type of MBO in memory. So we've changed the values, but to put them into place we need to select them all which we can do on the select all records or we can individually click on each of the three here and then from the select action drop down we're going to click on live refresh and live refresh will show us the three properties that are going to be refreshed and it will show you the current value and the new value that they're being set to so we can just click OK on that Once they're in place, the kind of information that you would expect to see will be something similar to this. So for res fetch result log limit, which we set to 200, um, you'll get a small stack trace which looks something like this. And here you can see the MBO set name and the fetch count so far, which is 1000. So if we look back through the log earlier in time, we would expect to see a similar stack trace for 200, then 400, then 600, then 800. So we can see that uh, the MBO count loading is increasing uh, over time. For log SQL time limit, we would expect to see something similar to this in the logs. So because we set this value to 1000, uh, and that's milliseconds, anything that takes over a second to run, we would expect to see the SQL statement printed in the log and the execution time. So in this case, it's 1100 milliseconds. For the MBO count property, we would see entries similar to this, and this is very much a cut down version. 
um, you would see for all possible MBOs and MBO sets how many are loaded in memory and this information would be printed once each minute um, and then you will also see the total memory and the memory free so again you may be able to see a certain MBO that is increasing in the number that's in memory and memory decreasing over a period of time so that concludes the um, the basic login of performance properties um, thanks for listening